today I am here to show you a tutorial on how to, I create my YouTube thumbnails and the first thing you're going to do is open your browser then you're going to go to the top and type in pickmonkey.com this is a free website and you can get the royal version I think it costs five dollars a month um, but if you've never used this before, you can get it for free for 30 days. I have used up my 30 days, so everything that I create is all um, with the free version. So what you do is go to collage and you click on computer. Then you want to select all of the images that you want in your collage and you open them. So then PicMonkey is going to load them up for you. This is the standard um, collage that PicMonkey gives you and you can customize it by adding more pictures in different spaces and I will show you how to do that. But the first thing you want to do is go down to this bar where it has the size and you want to change that number. So the first number needs to be 1280 and once that gets in there you want to click the lock button so that when you change the second number it doesn't resize and the second number needs to be 720 and you want to click the lock button again so this is the size that it needs to be the first photo I'm going to take is this one and I don't want to put it in any of these boxes so I'm going to put it where I do want it and I want to put it all the way across the top so this is a little bit too big I'm going to make it smaller by dragging this up and I'm going to move my picture up a little bit next picture I'm going to take is this one and I'm going to put it right next to it and I don't want it to go all the way down the side so I'm just going to move over a little bit and it's going to show that I can just put it in this little section so I want to zoom in I'm going to click on this edit button and I'm going to change the size and you can see it's zooming in I'm going to stop right about here and I'm going to slide this up a little bit the next thing I'm going to do is go in between the pictures and slide this over because I wanted a little offset. I'm going to reposition some of these because they did change. Alright, the next picture I'm going to do this one and put it in the big box and I want to move this over so it can be a little bit bigger. Next picture I'm going to take is this one and I'm going to slide that down a little bit and I think I want to zoom in because I don't like how this is blank so I'm going to size it a little bit and then I'm going to slide it over okay and then I'm going to put one more picture you can see which pictures you've already used um, pick, monkey, pick monkey puts a little check mark and says image has been placed so I think I'm going to take this one for my last picture and I'm going to scoot it over a little bit more I like how that looks alright so next I go to this little background button and I change the spacing I don't like a lot of space so I'm gonna make them a little bit closer and you can go all the way down to zero to where it has no space or you can go you know higher and it will space them out more but I like it right there I'm gonna round the corners a little bit and then I'm going to put a color in the background so I'm gonna take this little dropper and I'm gonna go for this yellow that I used in this washi alright and I want it to have a little bit more space the brighter your background the more eye-catching your thumbnails are that's what I believe and I've heard that on a few other videos so um, that's just what I like to do so I like how everything is I'm gonna go ahead and go to edit make sure you're happy with how everything is because once you go to edit and you go to the next screen you cannot go back and move anything you will have to start over so if you're not happy click cancel but if you are click open in editor so right here um, I like my pictures a little bit brighter so the first thing I do before I add anything is I go to the basic edits and I go to exposure I go to highlights and I drag it up and you can see as I'm dragging it up it's making it brighter so I like that. I'm going to click apply. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is add some text. You're going to go over to this text icon and these are all of the fonts that come with PicMonkey. So 
they have quite a bit and you can see some of these have this crown and that means it's a royal feature so that means if you want to use that font you have to pay the five dollars a month or if you're doing the free 30-day trial you can go ahead and use it um, you can also go over to this yours section and these are all of the fonts that I have downloaded and I download my fonts on defont.com I'll put a link in the description bar so what I'm going to do is click my font add text when it pops up I'm going to click inside and start putting my text in I like to put my text all different fonts so I do like one word at a time um, I just like the way that looks so you'll type it in and then you're going to click out of the box you're going to go ahead and change the size I like to put mine all the way up if it goes like this it's not a big deal you can just put your cursor to where it has the uh, horizontal arrow and slide it out and it will put it in one line and then since this is all the way up I can't go up anymore you can type in your number but I like to manually adjust it so I can see what size it's going to be so you just drag up one of the corners and it makes it bigger so I'm going to go ahead and go with that size <clears throat> right here in this color box you can change the color of your font I like to put mine on white so I can do the airbrush tool in the background so I'm going to put it on white click out of it then I'm going to do my next word I'm going to use this font click in the box type it in I'm going to click out of the box I'm going to make it bold and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and change the color to white. I'm going to move it down here and I'm going to slant it a little bit by using the middle circle. Click out of it and I'm going to do my last font. I think I'm going to use Daydreamer. Add text, click in the box, and type in your word. Click out of the box, make it bold, make it bigger, and I want it even bigger than that, so I'm going to drag it out. And I'm going to change it to white. Slide it down here. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is put in the little color background. How you do that is you go to this icon, which is effects and they have a ton of effects <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and scroll down I'm going to go to the artsy section and click draw change your hardness all the way to zero and then I you can pick your color right here but what I like to do is take the dropper tool and I like to pick my own color so that it matches my pictures so I'm going to go with this brown and you can see the color right here as you're moving it and then you just um, if you want your brush bigger you can adjust it right here so I'm going to go ahead and drag this and go all the way behind tracing the letters And I'm also going to show you guys how to do like different kind of editing behind the letters if you wish to do something different than this little spray paint kind of looking airbrush. Alright, and you want to click apply. Then you can go to the next word, take the dropper tool, and we're going to go with this purple. Make sure the hardness is down and trace. Apply. So for width, I'm not going to trace it. I want to use an image. So I'm going to go to google.com. And what I'm going to type in is fall clip art transparent and then I'm going to go to images and I'm going to pick
pick a few pictures that I want to use. Make sure that the background is checkered. That means it's going to be transparent so you don't have a big white box around your pictures and you just save it. to put the pumpkin behind this so what I'm going to do is go to overlays which is the butterfly I'm going to select your own they do have some pictures that you can use yourself I'm going to go ahead and get the pumpkin and it's going to pop up on the screen it is going to show up over everything so what you want to do is right click it and go send to back if you don't want it to go all the way to the back you just click send backwards and it'll go backwards one layer at a time but I want it to go all the way to the back so I'm going to click send to back and it went behind everything so I'm going to put it behind here and then I'm going to make it bigger so that width fits inside and then I'm going to tilt it so it kind of goes with the angle of the word and make it a little bit smaller Okay, so there is that. Next, I'm going to add these leaves and I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. like you can't really see the the tree that well because of my pictures in the background so what I'm gonna do is go back to this drawing tool turn the hardness down and I'm gonna put it on white and I'm going to go ahead and trace the tree kind of fill it in so you can see it stands out better this way ahead and did the white it kind of my E right here since it's white it's kind of blending in so I'm gonna go ahead and take the dropper tool take this purple again and I'm just going to retrace this so you can see it and the same thing happened with the end so I'm gonna take the dropper tool grab this brown and retrace it okay and click apply so that is one way to edit your thumbnail I'm going to show you another way okay so you're going to go to text and I'm going to use some of their fonts so you guys can see they have some cute stuff so I'm going to click this Dumbo Jiggler add text type in my word make it big well click off of it first make it big change it to white slide this over still not big enough so I'm going to slide this corner out until it is how I like it that looks good to me so there's that word next I'm gonna use Chelsea market add text look inside click out of it and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to make it white slide this down here I'm actually going to take plan and go to this middle circle and tilt it a little bit okay now I'm going to do me in this bada boom font add text click it in your word I'm going to click out of it make it bigger change the color and I want to make it a little bit bigger 
or a lot of it bigger. That was a lot. <laughs> And let's go somewhere. Okay. So there is my last word. I'm going to move some of these around a little bit now that they're on the canvas. So now that I like all of that, I'm going to click on this overlay button and I'm going to go to geometric. And the first shape I want to use is this kind of rounded rectangle. First, I'm going to change the color of it. I'm going to click the dropper. I'm going to use this little teal color. I think that's really pretty. I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm going to send it to the back. And I want it to go behind this word. A little bit. So this is a way you can do it without doing the brush. You can use these cute little shapes. And then I'm going to use this oval. Actually, I'm going to use the circle to go behind me. I'm going to grab the dropper tool for the color. And then what I want to do is right click and click duplicate overlay, which means it's going to make another circle the exact same size, the exact same color. But what I'm going to do is make it smaller and I'm going to fade it out. Next I'm going to right click it and just send it backwards until it goes right over the dark purple one. And I'm going to change this to white. And I'm going to send it backwards because it's still not where I like it. Send it backwards again because right here it's over the square. Okay, so now it's behind the square and I want to fade it a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take the pumpkin. So I'm going to add an overlay to put it behind with. I like to mix images with these kind of plain basic shapes. I'm going to, I'm not going to send this one all the way to the back. I'm just going to send it backwards one time just until it's behind width because I want it to kind of go over this area. I think it's cute how it's layered. So there's that. Maybe. make width a little bit bigger and you just I just adjust it as I go because as I add things I, I like you know they change the way it looks and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna add the leaves I'm not gonna add the tree this time but I do want to send it just behind the words in okay so I'm gonna send it all the way to the back so I clicked send it back let's see what that Oh, actually, I didn't click it because it's still over the front. Sent it back. There it went, but it went behind everything, so I'm going to bring it forward. Yes. Bring it forward. There it goes. And see right here, it's, um, I'm pointing at the screen like you guys can see my finger. <laughs> it's just over this colored box, but it's still behind the text, and that's what I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this a little bit, and I'm going to put it up in this corner. Then I'm going to duplicate the overlay so that I don't have to mess with... Well, I still have to mess with moving it backwards, so I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to send it all the way to the back, but then I'm going to bring it forward. I believe twice is all I have to do. So I did that. Now I'm going to turn it a little bit. And slide it up. Okay, so that looks cute to me. I don't really like to overdo it, but that is how it's looking. You can, you know, do all kind of different stuff. They have different shapes. You can click out of geometric. They have hearts. They have all 
all these hearts that are really cute that I use. And then see, this has the crown, so you would have to have the royal version to use these. But they have so much. And then if you click on this apple, it shows you all the seasonal stuff that they have out. But when you're finished, you just click on save. Then you want to name it. Save to my computer. It'll take you back and it'll say right here, masterpiece is saved. There it is. And it's big on the screen because I opened it in photos on my computer but it is saved to the size of a thumbnail so if you guys like this video just give it a good thumbs up i hope you guys like this and if you guys want more tutorials or if you want me to show you another thumbnail um you know just with more options i'll go through some more of the ways i like to edit them um you can thumbs it up, leave a comment, and if you guys have any questions, if I went too fast, just leave them in the, in the down, you know, in the comment section below, and I'll answer you guys as fast as I can. So yeah, make sure you are subscribed for more videos. I hope you guys found this helpful, and I hope you liked it. I will see you guys for my next video. Bye!